it's definitely not resolution. Oh, and it is a hero that you guys have been talking up a lot. We haven't really seen that much. I in the hate Kyle Bristleback. I hate. But it. you, you, you like Bristle, right? But just I like it, but it seems for whatever reason these teams don't know how to play Bristleback. Honestly, they, they just don't seem to get it. Uh, you need to, if it's offline, you need to stack from and don't stack. You don't stack ancients. You stack like the camps next to the ancients, the two camps next to the ancients. You can yeah. always double stack them very easily with like almost every hero. Um, you stack those camps, not ancients, and then that's how Bristle gets his game. He like cuts and does those. Um, where, 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 where did you, where did Jason play the Necro? This will be in the mid lane. Yeah, this is definitely. This is gonna be a necro. nine Necro. Yeah, yeah, this is not gonna be a Rezo Necro. Nah. No, no, no. Um, maybe Life Sealer for J Storm. I feel like you need, you want something to hit Will O Wisp, something fast. Uh, they ban Troll on J Storm. Yeah, so. I mean, uh, it's sort of on the same line that we're expecting this bristle to be off lane rather than a carry bristle. You think that's what more likely with the with the Chinese yeah. team? They don't, mm -hmm. they not really do carry bristle. Yeah, it's, it's off. It's off bristle. Lane bristle okay. yeah. Yeah, I think very very few people will play carry bristle. Okay. Ten Obviously, last ban here from Serenity. Still looking to target uh, resolutions heroes. I'm trying to think of like what Reza would want here. Mm. Would you would you wanna would you wanna play a Rezo Slark this game? I was thinking Slark, but yeah. Kunkka's pretty good versus Slark, honestly. You think it's it's not the sort of run doesn't work in your favor again because you get to to hit targets longer. It's just no, that the X, doesn't matter. The X is uh you can't pack the yeah. thing and all that. Yeah, there's Slark ban. Ban it anyway. It was probably the best ban. It was either that yeah. or Life Stealer. I mean, but it, I mean, it, it, it is Life Stealer still a hero? Yeah, for sure. It is, especially versus things like Coddle. I think you'd, I think as a life stealer, you'd feel great playing against this lineup. Yeah, you can rage yeah. off everything. Yeah, it's a good life stealer game. Uh, I personally would have wanted life stealer way more than Slark. You know, they, if they banned Slark, I'm like, I was not even gonna pick that shit. Wraith King looks pretty cool for Serenity, I think. Oh, yeah, Wraith King's very yeah. good. Yeah, Dude. Wraith King's uh, great potential or um, like push potential too, with like uh, Chen and Beast and all that. Could you not go fully in on sort of this whole Necro Beastmaster Chen and, and slap a Lycan in for Rezo? Or is that hero dead? Hmm. This could be would a pretty too, good Lycan game, Would that be actually. too all in? You know what I'm saying? It depends on what Serenity picks. If Serenity... Nah, actually Lycan's... Lycan's hard versus Kunkka. It's really okay. hard versus Kunkka. Nah. I think Lycan is... Or Lice, Wraith Lice, King yeah. is the safest. Okay. Wraith King's more meta. Lycan is more uh, like personal preference. Uh, Serenity, what do they need? Something to lane versus Beast? I mean, Bristle lanes well versus Beast. I don't think they'll do it, though. Um, any thoughts over there, Blitz, on what they might want? Uh, they're probably going to do, like, Coddle Bristle lane, right? So they yeah. need, like, a plus one with their Grimstroke to, like, win their safe lane against, what, BM or Spirit. They might even just, like, safe try as well, like they did last. Um, a lot of the carry heroes are kind of just gone. Yeah. Very few left. It was going to be a sick... Let's see. It's like not even a good Terrorblade game because there's a Necro. And also, maybe you could lose like Chen fast before you get online. They take the life stealer. Okay. okay. So, in sort of combo, what? also blocking the... Well, you're blocking mm. it from J-Storm, right? Yeah, well I, was th I was thinking of life stealer for Serenity, but... Uh, yeah, there's just really not that many carry heroes left. I mean, yeah, what what'd you do now if you Jay Storm? I think well, he what is Wraith King right yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was the last hero left that was yeah. I mean can, can you not can he can you not go PL again or does that not really fit with everything else? Mm. I mean, PL wouldn't they, they just lost with that hero, so PL's I feel like they don't feel that good. PL's not that good this game. I would not oh. pick it. They've picked this before. Oh, yeah. P is really oh, good. Oh, P is oh. good against Cotter and uh, Grimstroke. Yeah. Oh the right. only thing hard is the lane. Yeah. Lane will be challenging. Yep. It's it's like the strongest hero in the game, but the problem is the lane, I think. Yeah. And I guess what uh, t technically a hero that can also be kind of good against will o -Wisp, right? Because you, well, you get the attack speed buff regardless of who you jump on. So yep. as long as there's an enemy nearby, you can jump across, turn your attention towards the ball of light and... Mm -hmm. Yep. Pop BKB. You can, you yeah. can, uh, yeah. You also go like second or third and BKB every single game. Yeah. Um, you get it fairly fast. You can, like you said, you can jump to a hero and hit it, or you can jump out. Like you kind of ignore it after yeah. the first tick. So yeah, still just throw mm. daggers in. I'm kind of scared for this life story. He doesn't have anyone to hit. 
This is going to get kited a lot, I fear. And is it, uh, are they going to be able to sort of get an easy lane for Arjit to farm in, do you think? Cause yeah, Arjit should have an easy lane. Lanes should, should be easy. Yeah. Yeah. Lanes should be easy. Well, I think game is pretty hard. I think part of the issue with their lineup is like once people start getting BKB, it's like similar issue as to what uh, game number one was. I think once this PA gets BKB, she's going to have a really free time. She's just going to start like two-shotting everybody and no one's really going to deal damage to her. Um, I agree. Plus, like Serenity's lineup really lacks... Aside from like X, that you know, like the amount of catch that they have isn't that fantastic. Like in the last game, they uh -huh. had they had this Doom hero that could just like go in and fight for them, and Earth Spirit. Like they had multiple ways to start a fight. I never think it feels good when you only have like one easy way to start a fight. I think it's a big responsibility on the Chen shoulder, the event shoulder. Like if he shuts down the Bristol back and frees up the PA's leaning, the game's gonna be really easy. Yeah, I think the only hard part about this game for Jason is if you get run over in lanes, I could see a way in which it could be difficult, but outside of that. What about you? What are you doing, Jimmy? Thoughts, thoughts and feelings on how this one's ended up for you? Yeah, I mean, it just comes down to the laning here. I agree with what Will William said here. If we get rolled over in lanes, you know, it's a whew, rough one there. But I think mid, I think it really comes down to this mid matchup. ZYD, you know, he plays like 14 games of Kunkka. That's why they first phase it this time around. Okay. Um, comes down, if he's shut down, you know, it's up to him and his rotation if he can cre create the tempo for his team. And if he has a bad start, I think it's like going to be pretty nice for us. And if we snowball this Necro, he's going to be eventually become unkillable. They don't have enough magic for him, so... Yeah, I think it comes down to this necro. Okay, and it also that that last pick PA was was that always the plan? Like, did it do? They, did they, you? They stole our net. Oh, they stole our life stealer. You did want the yeah. life stealer. Yeah. Yeah. They were like, they yeah. did some slark ban. We're like, oh, this is a nice life stealer game, and they're like, oh, they picked in. Oh, we're fucked now, boys. <laughs> but yeah, you happy with grabbing the PA against it? You think? Yeah, I mean, it's really PA good. Go it's still game. a really good game for PA if yeah. you can get out of laning stage. We have a Chen to secure his lane and so forth. So. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Jimmy. Cross lane general Jimmy Demon Ho from. Jay Storm there giving us his thoughts and feelings on how this one's ended. And then all very important game three, Serenity versus Jay Storm. Loser will will be done here. It'll be the end of their trip at uh, Summit 10. Were you ever in a team with Jimmy? Yeah. DC Onyx. Oh, we that's Kev. right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I think this game is easy mode for Jay Storm. I think they super outdrafted them, honestly. Um. I think the only way Serenity wins is if they just play godlike. They just completely outplay their opponent like in every single way possible. Let's see. Let's see how much uh, of a lane Nine's had because late Nine has had some uh, some rough openings to the games this series. Let's we'll see if he has a bit of a better one this time. His laning phase is always good, though. I feel. Sure, yeah, that's true. Yeah, he always gets good. Yes. Game? It's what it's, would you say? Where, where's sort of the weak point for him being the, the sort of mid game? I think after the laning phase, his rotation isn't on point. Like his impact is not very tight. May uh, maybe it's because of the heroes too. The storm versus silencer. But yeah. What? He was the Oh no, no, no. wait, he was playing the storm the second game. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant. Like the storm versus silencer, that was that was the that was that was day, yeah. Yeah, Serenity. Um one thing that we haven't talked about is the uh interaction between Necro and Chen. Mm -hmm. Uh Necro's gonna heal way more. And he's probably gonna get Greaves too. There's wow. just going to be an insane amount of sustaining healing coming from the side of uh, J Storm, and it's going to negate like Bristol's presence mid game, kind of like diminish it by a lot. And can we uh, basically can we get can we get sort of an item build forecast for for Arjit's life stealer this game? Anything that you you want to be seeing? Anything you don't want to be seeing? Like we're talking Midas Radiance, or we're talking some some armlet S and Y? What's going on this game? Uh, I think. You can't get like crazy with PA I feel. It's it's all classic like battle fury, desolator, VKB. But what, what what about for the life stealer though? Yeah, what, yeah. What should build um, this? Trying to think what I would go. Oh, I just life stealer. Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. Oh. You know, I'm in the zone. Oh, and I'm in the zone. I'll okay. come back to you with something. Yeah. I promise. That's man. right. Doing the calculations. Yeah, just doing the calculations really quick. <laughs> You're crunching the old numbers. Mm -hmm. You and Graham, man, you guys are both math geniuses. Honestly, I really am. Is that any education? I see I'm trying to think of how they how they actually win this game. Oh, you 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 really think it's that hard for? I do for, I Jeff, for Serenity's lineup. I yeah. think it's very hard. Yeah, I mean, the only way, I think they had to win all three lanes like they did in game one. Make life easy for yourself, then maybe you can snowball something. Yeah. But but it's hard. I feel like I feel like J Storm has oh, the I better agree. edge on the lane. Necro should be having a really good time 
Chen's I mean, or Chen's or Chen's gonna win the league. Is there yeah. is there not some sort of a timing where you get crimson on the bristle, you have the Kunkka rum, and suddenly the the PAB, you know, they're not killing people, J Storm, because you have that that sustain. Or is, it, is is that not enough, really? I don't I don't think so. I think uh, think they'll always have good burst potential with Necro and all that, like Necro War and PA Dagger, like uh, roll ins, like they have good burst and they have like really good sustained damage. Necro does a bit of both, honestly, and PA can always like PA always puts out moderate damage and stuff. I don't know. I just, I really, it's hard to see the window where Serenity wins this game if it's like a comes to an even point. If I was ready, if I was a uh, lifesaver though, I just go like radiance, and then uh, eventually I would probably build uh, MKB or something or Bloodthorn. Definitely have to get one of those this game versus uh, Necro and PA. I just go standard radiance build. I think. Uh, Trying to hit some sweet timing with Armlet Deso is just not realistic. Oh, bottom Chen's lane. gotta be careful. These quills are pretty annoying, though. They are. Yeah, Bristleback's very annoying. With the Claudio. Top CS2. Mm -hmm. With the help of some of the neutrals, though. Yeah, Chen got unlucky with the... with the creeps. I saw him having a baby center. Yeah, I was gonna wonder if this is what they were gonna do uh, on the side of J-Storm, oh, was try four? lane the PA. For oh, I thought you were gonna say the... Uh, for to counter like the coddle stuff, you just go for the four. You go for the four uh, magic resist creeps, and then you just push. Oh. No, they're just like yeah, that's later on the game. Lane. Yeah. What in the leading phase? I feel like you want something stronger, like from the smoke camp. Lightning is the best one, of course. They're trying to find the angle to go on the quarter. They don't want to go on the bristle back. Would you feel happy playing PA in this game, Mason? You said it was like a free, you'd feel really happy in that Sven game. Yeah, uh, this PA game, I would like not feel happy early game, but uh, I'd look at my lineup and I'd be like, as long as one of my other lanes won, I, I believe in our draft. Like, I'd believe in it. The only problem is PA is a very weird hero because she she's like one of the few carries that has very bad comeback potential. Like, she does not farm jungle fast. They like, they nerfed her blink strike multiple times. It only, it's only a two second duration now, so like 2.5. Her level one crit does like, baby damage. Uh, you typically do phase on this hero, and phase is not good for jungling. Uh, Treads is much better. Like, there's just uh, a lot of weaknesses if she does not have a good start. I see. But uh, overall, for I look at their heroes, and I go, if I get Deso, BKB, I mean, some people like to go Battle Fury, personally I like to go Deso. If I get my items, and we're not losing, I'm confident. For I sure. can't remember who was on the couch when they were talking about PA... Battle Fury. I think maybe it was BSJ even was saying like if you can you almost always want to go PA B Fury, but you you disagree you'd prefer to go Deso? Yeah, always go Deso. I think uh I think Battle Fury is like pointless on the hero to be honest. Nowadays. You farm very fast with Deso if you choose to just like hit ancients and stuff too. It's not like you can't farm with the item. Yeah. Oh this matchup, this matchup, Kunkka versus Necro, I played this as the Necro, and I actually died to the Kunkka. It's actually really deceptive how well people think Necro lanes versus Kunkka. Because the cleave just shreds through you. Like, you actually don't heal enough. I mean, not, not is wrecking it, though. Yeah, he, he's wrecking it, but you but saw right there. Like, he almost died. Sure. Yeah, it's like Ember versus Monkey matchup, I think. You you're, you win in the CS, but it's pretty easy to die. Yeah, you can you get way careful. too... You can get cocky. You'd be like, oh, I'm going to heal up off this wave. No, you just get torn cleaved, and like, oh, shit, I... I actually can't. I need to ferry a salve, right? You get too greedy sometimes. No. But as long as you're not, you're aware and you don't die, I think it's okay for the necro. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get a little aggressive once again on PYW. And they've had the Reaper scythe down. Will die. Doesn't die to the scythe though, so only dead for, for the normal time. No extended time this round, but uh, dead been. nonetheless. And the kill uh -huh. goes to Reza. It would have been really good if Necro got the kill. Yeah. It would have healed a lot. It was super close. Then, but Bristle just able yeah. to turn his back towards him as the the scythe was about to be cast, reducing that damage. Quarter's positioning has been really good, though. They're trailing the bottom, and they keep trying to find the quarter, but he's See, he's very slippery. This Coddle is doing it incorrectly. He is stacking the <laughs> ancient camp. Oh yeah, you did say that. Uh, you're not supposed to do this. Like I am positive, you're not supposed to do this when you play Bristle. Uh, we have action on top. I'll explain why after this. I was going to say, because, you know, as a scrub, I'm like, why not? Stacking Ancients, lo lovely farm for Bristle, but... Because Bristle can farm both those camps next to the Ancients at the same time. And, like, 
The problem with Ancients and Bristleback is that he needs, like, the purple dinosaurs are super annoying for Bristleback. Like, he needs to kill them, and it, like, takes a lot of time. You need to face forward, you take a lot of damage from facing forward. Like, it, clearing Ancients is just such, a, like, time consumption for Bristle. But, like, clearing big stacks of hard camps, it's, like, no time at all. So if he has the medium and the hard, just that both stack, the Coddle's hitting that, then you just get double anyways? You can just, like, double Quill Spray, get the yeah, same yeah. farm? Like, you can, uh, like, you can go back and forth and, like, hit all the camps. Like, uh, if that's what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. You can farm them simultaneously. Uh, but farming Ancients just takes a lot of time. Um, and I don't even know if it's more gold and EXP than farming the hard and medium at the same time, honestly. Just, like, speed-wise and what you could be doing with your time? Yeah. Just more efficient, I think, to farm the medium and hard. It's funny that you brought that up. I get, was it last game that you brought that up? Hmm? Uh, the bristle thing. I remember it wasn't you. You brought it up last game, where you were saying like if you're oh it was when we were talking about the how they used to do I O bristle or whatever, and then you were saying like what bothers me about bristle is maybe uh, I forget. I have really bad memory because I'm stupid. But <laughs> I think I'm that sure was not. it. Yeah. Uh, oh. And also the problem also with the uh, ancient farming is that you can farm those two camps, the hard and medium. When you're like level three in Bristol, you can actually just do it level three. He's right? gonna go for it. This you have to do like level seven or something. Or like I just level go for eight. the stack again. Uh, oh, it's a big oh. stack. Oh, two purple two dinosaurs. Purple this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I mean, he does have a coddle to help clear it though. Yeah. So coddle, coddle just needs to blast once or twice. Yeah, definitely should help him. Let's see how much. I, w I just kind of want to watch this. I don't care about anything else that's going on. Not so wrong. You, you need to, to like, see how this works. Yeah, like you need to pull both these, and then you just keep pulling them. You go back and forth. I mean, what's his, what's his XP and gold state at the moment? Come and check. So he's, what, halfway through six, 600 gold. All right, this is getting a little sloppy here. Right. Some inefficient bristle play. <laughs> well, what, what should we be doing? Grabbing the Ancients as well at now? or? Oh, no, they're just, just like kind of like pulling them at different times. So it, like they keep recycling. This one's already, like, they just keep pulling it at different times. I want to see the Ancient stack, guys. Do the Ancient stack. Come on. Oh, he's not even level seven. Okay, no, he's level seven. Oh, there we go. He's pinging. He's pinging. Uh, Pink's pinging. He's Cold like, like it one more time. One more time. Is he gonna? Yeah, he will. It's a hard stack, isn't it? Though, has he got the timing? So, this, this one's easy. Oh, okay, yeah, this, this is for the game. Oh, okay. oh the p p p fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Right, what's going on here? They're turning. Silence is out. They'll get themselves a kill. P Y W. Having a burst down field with those quills as they surround the spirit. Top Tower died, by the way. I don't think anyone noticed that. No, I yeah, don't think anyone noticed that. I mean, I don't mean, think anyone noticed that. Like, you guys, maybe you did. Maybe the, I we could. You said you wanted to see the yeah, Bristle stack. Yeah, I do want to see the Bristle stack. I'm I, sure someone in chat noticed it. Yeah. Someone in chat's like, I don't care about Bristle back. <laughs> oh? Uh, just a random defensive boat, I suppose. Yeah, just a. Yeah. Uh, get out, get out. A BM boat. And Rez up. They've got the chase. Now with a step back, way out the ink swell. We'll look to run back in. Rezo's, uh, Rezo's definitely the player who's going to Yeah, I was going to say, he's definitely the player to go Battle Fury, not uh, Deso. Dude, can you get Battle Fury and then still the Ancient stat? Is there a world where that happens? Or not? Nah, clear. Uh, I think it's, I think oh, it's he's it's stacking really it again? Oh, no. Dude. Couldn't, couldn't get it this okay, time. Okay, let's see what happens here. I think Coddle's got to help him. How long does it take to clear this? It, I mean, with Coddle, it should be a little faster. Around 30 seconds to one minute. All right, here's the thing, Mason. I really believed in what you said. You brought it yeah. up in two separate games, so yeah. I'm going to have to see this fail. <laughs> I mean, he has a coddle to blast the purple goal, purple okay, guys. Okay. He's so also got it's a, a little different. He's got a concur to offer some tiebringer hits. Yeah. But Maybe I, he knew that, I Mason. played with a lot yeah. of Bristol yeah. and when there's two purple creeps, you need your mid player to come over and hurt you. you, well, you just It's the just so inefficient to do it on your own. Uh, yeah, it, it takes, takes too long. Too long. Yeah. The Kunkka can like come and like, yeah. hurt I him. I think he'd like, die to them too, honestly. Like He's not strong. Like he, he do I don't think he has Vanguard. Dude, Mason. He has Vanguard. What do you think about yeah. this build? What build? Kunkka, phase spirit vessel. I mean, there's versus uh, Necro yeah. and Chen, it's, it's okay. okay. I'm not totally against it. Okay. There's a Southeast Asian player that's like. Oh, stack it again! It. Oh yeah, it's, my it's God! Oh, he's got it! Oh, oh the, the, the hawk! The hawk! Oh, oh okay. The hawk. He would have had it. He would have had, had it. it. He would have had it. There's a C player that does that build though, Blizzy or something. They're. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that does it. It's popular in C. Yeah. 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 Blizz. This game kind of just feels like everyone's just farming. And everyone's just chill with it. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna hit creeps. Yeah, you too. No rush thirty. There we go. All right, let's. There we go. So twelve nineteen. It starts. He's level seven, nearly eight. Let's see what he gets. It's not that. It's pretty. It's pretty fast, dude. Mason, he's doing it really hey, he's quick. He's doing it really quick. 
Mason, Mason. Yes, that was incredibly easy. Have, he didn't die. He didn't even come close to dying. Can we have a written <laughs> apology for this, Mason? Can Mason? we zoom in on Mason? Mason, real quick? <laughs> I want. <laughs> you need to see. All right. That was very quick, Mason. <laughs> Mason, that was really easy. Dude. That was that, that was, really was that was double purple dinos as well, Mason. <laughs> Mason, you were you brought it up in two separate <laughs> games. <laughs> you were so wrong. You know what? Sometimes it's not about the information; it's about the passion. It's about the passion. I was very passionate that you could not do it and confident, and then I was just wrong. Maybe maybe they got shadow. No. You straight up maybe told maybe the ancients got shadow. You said it was gonna take two minutes. That was a very quick, impossible ancient. Everything you said made sense. I believed you. Yeah, I, bl I think maybe they nerfed the ancients. Uh, 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 probably a shadow you know, nerf. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In World of Warcraft, they have like those shadow yeah. patches. Like I think that's what happened here. They nerfed the damage. I gotta read the chat. They actually nerfed the damage. I'm sure chat's like, you're all right, Mason. Yeah. They must have shadow nerfed those things. Nine <laughs> George. Arcade. It's like, shut up, Mason. Oh, yes, Max here in the mid lane, oh, we boys. do indeed. They're, they're going in for PYW. The, the ball of light's out. The ball of light is owning, actually. It, it is holding them all back. ZYD looks to still be in trouble. They're handing God's pop so they can dive in for the Kunkra, and they'll get ZYD will fall. They get the kill. They get the favorable trade. Only losing fear in that one. And they can also find the tier one tower mid by looks of it. Jay Storm with the four of them pushing in. Mason, he had Arcane Rune. Oh, he had did he? Rune. He had Arcane Rune, yeah. Oh, I was going to say that. He had Arcane Rune. I was going to say that seemed a little too good. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I mean, I don't think Arcane Rune helps that much, but. but I did. I was just take it, man. Yeah, just take it. Just take it. Yeah, that guy had Arcane Without Arcane Rune, guys, it is literally. People were saying in chat also the Shadow Nerf is 100% right. They yeah, were, yeah, 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 they were agreeing nerf. with me. I'm sure there's also one guy yeah, saying. Lucky uh, Vanguard Frogs. <laughs> some guy was also saying, shut the fuck up, Mason, or something. Well, if they weren't then, they are now. Yeah. You've encouraged him. Oh man, there's an absolute Chad staying behind me. BSJ's in the room. I just felt his presence. <laughs> he said he was. He said you were the only Chad on the talent list earlier. BSJ Mason. No. Mason said yeah. you were the only Chad. Chad SJ in the building now. He said the only Chad. You said Mike and BSJ. Yep, Mike and BSJ are the only Chads here. Gods. I mean, Gods knows the tree. He's like, <laughs> I can't <laughs> compete with these guys. <laughs> Uh, Bristol is Omega Farm, by the way. Because of the Ancients. Because the Ancients, yeah. Uh, ancients. What we got? Can we toggle yeah. the net worth now? It's like 50 minutes in the game. Yeah, we can check it out. All right. What do uh, you see, he's, uh, he's only 6.5. I thought it would be higher. Huh. And uh, did you just sort of agree with the life state? Because I think you may have heard it. Because he had yeah, he the Midas. He queued up the armlet, but he said, nah, I got a lot of money. Oh, he queued Let's it get up the Radiance. Yeah, okay. he was thinking about the armlet. Yeah, it's just weird versus yeah. Necro and stuff. You, you might try the Radiance, but mm -hmm. yeah. If he wasn't versus Necro, maybe it'd be okay, but uh, yeah, it's yeah. not very good. We should have it in uh, very good time. Still holding his own at the top of that net worth RG. Complete pre farm up here. Mm -hmm. As we'll hit that relic timing very quick. Life, just a 15 uh, minute mark. Life Sealer versus PA actually isn't that bad. Um, if the Life Sealer doesn't panic and like keeps his farm up and keeps his item progression going, like he'll eventually get AC. He'll get his evasion talent. He'll get Abyssal at some point. Like yeah, like this matchup isn't so bad. I mean, what farms faster, Midas Radiance, Life Stealer, or Battle Fury PA? Uh, I mean Life Sealer definitely farms faster if he has a free lane. It's just like. PA does more with less items. Like, you yeah. get Battle yeah. Fury, Deso, BKB. That's a sweet timing. Those yeah. items aren't that expensive. Uh, Life Shield needs a bit more. He needs, like, AC. He wants Basher. You know, Radiance is 5K, too. Like, it takes a little bit more time. Even though he has more farm, the items aren't, uh, they don't come as fast. Everyone just pinging Roche. It's cool. It's up. Who are you favoring right now at this point? Uh, probably J Storm. Yeah. What about you, Febby? If Serenity stops one push from J-Storm, I think J-Storm is going to feel a bit pressured, but uh, it's uh, it's all about the execution, I feel. So, But in the end, I prefer J-Storm too. Serenity right now is without a doubt stronger. Like Especially once they get that Radiance, they are definitely stronger. Mm -hmm. Like When you play around PA, you have to wait for a BKB kind of. Oh, oh they found him. They found him in the trees. Nope. He's dead, and so is the town mid. Serenity able to get the objection. Same time up top. They're trying to collapse in and find. He really does want to get reapers. Yeah. And he's not going. Nice jukes around the the trees there at the top. Ball getting back towards the high ground. He used the assault too. So not really nice. What creeps does uh, Diva have? The magic resistance creeps, I reckon. Does he also have an alpha wolf just following Rezo? Yeah. Very cool. You're happy about that as a carry player. Actually, I get annoyed. 
Really? Yeah. What, if there's really a wolf following you? Yeah. Why? I actually hate it. It just annoys me. Like, <laughs> like, fuck off, honestly. <laughs> Stop all <following laughs> you. Oh, well, you gotta guess the wolf. What are you talking about? I mean, I just, it's just trying to help you out. Yeah. It's literally annoying. Like, I, it, I feel like it gives away my. Like, if I'm blurred, if I'm blurred, it's following me. Like, it just gives away my position. Like, what's yeah, the wolf doing? Like, I don't know. It just pisses me off. You don't like animals? No, I do. It's just like, alpha wolves. Fuck themselves. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, uh, Serenity is without a doubt stronger. They have Bristle. I really want to see Medallion, because if they get Medallion and they're hitting this timing, I feel like they can Roche. Uh, they have Will-O-Wisp, so they have, like, good fight around Roche, Boat, Will-O-Wisp, like... Plus, the Solar Crest is so sick this game. Yeah, um, I feel like if they get Medallion, they should really just go Roche. I don't know if they think like that, though. It's a little annoying, though, because uh, Jason Arm will always have the vision game, right? They'll they have they Hawk, go. but they have Radiance and Sentries. Like, the Hawk will die. And with, with Giraffe like this, you would always build the Solar Crest on the Bristol rather than the Lifestealer? Oh, for sure. You don't yeah. want it. Never yeah. build Medallion or Solar okay. Crest on Lifestealer. It okay. used to be popular, but uh, I don't think it's great anymore. Yeah, even when it was popular, it didn't look You didn't like it. Yeah. No. What about Echo? There's the medallion. What about Echo on last year? Is that, uh, really my, you know? That's, he like, a, that's like a 2016, yeah. 2017 build, but yeah. no, not anymore. Uh, I mean, it's hard yet. You never know. Yeah, After his Radiance, he likes his Echoes. Yeah, like, they're like, whoa, Ajit, well, let me click your items. You have Midas Radiance? That's really standard. He's like, hold up, let me fuck up my shit real quick. And he just, like, cues up a Divine Rapier and an Echo Saber. They're like, oh, good job, Ajit. That's, that's the Ajit we know and love. The only hero Echo Saber is okay on is Sven, I think. Yeah, they're just kind of dead. We have a fight here, though, boys and girls. Let's have a look. They've got the boat down. Hell on him at the back. Argy's working on Fear first at the side, and Fear. He's ticking down low to raise the lights down. He's grabbing oh, the three nice. of them in as well. Beautiful setup there. Oh, that's a sick win. From the cottle, dragging them all in as they slowly burn to the fire of Argy's radiance. Double kill for Argy. And a successful fight for Serenity there, getting the perfect opportunity to fight behind that tier one with the Will O Wisp. That was such a sick Will O Wisp. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going armor now on last year. I don't know how I feel uh, about that. Is that sort of on the same? No, not, not on the same tier as Echo Saber, but... It's oh, just yeah, it's in, in there. He might change not throwing his hat on the ground. He's no. all right with it. I mean, it's okay. It's not, it's not what I would do. What would you get? I think I'm really just okay. I, I like just going uh, Hyperstone and then like Basher or going just finishing the AC with the Hyperstone. Basher like gives you really good damage control, and then like the hyperstone like builds into whatever. Mm. Don't you think you need an MKB more against PA? No, no. Okay. No. I think Basher is really, really, really good on life too. It's like an amazing item to just get as soon as possible. AC does sound cool because they have this like timing, or, like five man timing with the Bristol yeah. back. I think uh, what Serenity should be doing is they should just like look for a fight right away. Mm -hmm. And if they take any fight, like uh, on the Shrine area, Tri-Camp area of Radiant, they just go right to Roche. Because they have this Medallion in Bristol now. They want to look Roche for blood. Roche will die so yes. fast if they get a kill. Would you favor them if they were able to get that Aegis? For sure. I think uh, I think they're doing all the right moves. They hit this like timing and they immediately, like they're invading the right spot of the map. They're playing everything correctly. Yeah. Uh, what is J-Storm doing wrong that you went from I favor J-Storm to now saying like Serenity? I feel like they made no plays with Chen and Necro. I didn't see a single time where they actually like made a good play. They just seemed like they did this no rush 20 strat, which is weird. Because I feel like if you play pick Chen, you should definitely try to abuse it somehow. They didn't do any like recall ganks. You have Earth Spirit Chen. These are like two really big early game snowball heroes. Yeah. That's the point of it, right? You can bring your Earth Spirit once he makes a play on the opposite side. Yeah. He rolls in. Maybe maybe Bristleback deterred them. Like, they have Bristle Kunkka. It's very hard to kill these heroes or something, but... Mm. Necro's going Radiance, too, which I think is really bad. Yeah. Uh, this it's game, too expensive, and I feel like this like game, a smaller item. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this game's spiraling out of control a little bit. Like, they should easily get Rush at any time they want. Yeah, for sure. This is quite, a, quite an advantage here for Serenity being 7k up at 20, 21 minutes. The, the Deso's there, though, the on Rezo. So now if they, they can make fights, I mean, you talk to the drive. You do like the PA this game. It says a lot of potential if they can burst mm -hmm. heroes. What they have to do, what they have to do on the uh, PA, or what are they doing here? Oh, they can maybe get Audra. This is really big. This is huge. Oh, he's got his team with him. The zoning board again. Mm -hmm. Make sure they don't chase. I like that. We'll get Audra out. They can fight on the side of J Storm. What they have to do though is this PA has to blur and simply look for supports. He has to blow them up. He can't actually like hard commit because he doesn't have BKB yet. Oh, I, I tell you, what, I do like that. I, I, he didn't 
I think he bought the armor and then resold it, and he's, he's getting the halberd instead. Yeah, this is pretty good too. Yeah. I, I really dislike halberd as an item. I used to be a big fanboy, like CK, oh, get it on Bristle even. Blah, blah. But the only hero I think it's good on now is uh, Life Zero. This seems so good. Like, I mean, so natural. especially against the PA, right? Yeah. It makes sure. Rezo's commitment really hard to, to go for. Anytime he and jumps in with that Phantom Strike, they yeah, hit he's going to get hit by the halberd. Yeah, they hit all these timings BKB on Kunkka, halberd on um, whatever. Uh, Crimson, yeah, there's no way they can fight this rush. It's impossible. So they're just gonna give it up. I think they can end the game with this first Aegis. I think they should even try to. I don't think you farm with this Aegis. I think you look to end. Or at least get a, one Rax. I mean, they already took mid tier 2. Mm -hmm. And bottom tier 2, right? It's just top that's alive. So it's not even like they. there's a lot more map that they have to control. And especially if the Necro's going Radiance, you're going to hit this like really sick timing where he's just not going to have items to fight with. Yeah, this Radiance is like pretty far off too. Especially given how this map is, like they don't have a lot of area to farm. Whoa. Be careful, Rob. There's a BKB now on Kunkka too. They're hitting all I their I literally timings. just had that blitz. Sorry. Like, were you listening? <laughs> I saw yeah. Rob got... Actually, he got distracted. Rob, Rob distracted me by <laughs> dropping a light in front of me. Rob! If J Storm does defend the push with like a buyback, I can see the game going turning towards their favor. Yeah. It's so hard to um, kill anyone now, I think. I think uh, this pipe and crimson are going to prove to be really challenging. I think they have to make Serenity overcommit yeah, they have when to they do go some high ground. Kiting stuff like the Will O Wisp gets uh, used in a bad place and all this. And when Serenic goes high ground, it's so much easier for PA to find the back lines too. I mean, there, there is always, right, that PA factor, isn't there? You know, if uh, suddenly a fight happens, Reza gets crit after crit, yeah, people, yeah. Like people if, are dying. Uh, like, like if you play versus Beast Coast Ice Mike 88, it's randomly going to be in the high ground, you're just going to one-shot him to fight me 45. Ice Mike 88, where are you? I don't know, it's okay. He'll be on here later. Yeah. He's playing next, right? After this yeah, one, B Beast Coast versus Complexity, the, the NA showdown. That should be a good one. That should be a good one. I hope we see our techies again. I heard there was a techies. This guy buying an item? or? Alright, you said you wanted to see them go high ground. They're doing everything that you're asking. Yeah, these guys, these guys are playing good. Good Dota. I mean, they definitely aren't bad or anything. Like, huh. when we watched that first game, even though they lost, I feel like it was a more of a drafting thing than anything. Like, yeah. Alright, they're just doing it. And uh, not everybody from J Storm is here. I, w I wouldn't back. I, they just just commit, just rage siege, like keep doing it over and over again. It doesn't matter if they all back. Just fight them if they want to fight. You think J Storm has to be back here? I think they're gonna lose base. I don't see any reason for Serenity to back up. And they're not doing it. So yeah. J Storm has to beat more. I feel. Like. J Storm still has two heroes out on the map. They've taken bottom tower. Still seem reluctant to come back. This PA is not ready to fight. She doesn't have BKB. It's hard for her to take a straight up engage like so this. So you, you just have to give up Rax here? Maybe. Uh, Don't they just do the do. same thing mid though? Yeah, they're going to. I mean, th they're in a very hard position. There's not a lot of Jason to do. Trying to go on 9. Uh, do have the hand of God, keeping 9 more than fine, but at least Serena, he's just able to walk in, take the Rax, and nothing that J-Storm can do to put All a right. stop to it. It's just a free set of Rax with no response. Yeah, they have a bit on the Aegis still, like two minutes, three minutes, something like that. I don't know how to tell that shit as a caster. So, yeah, they have time on the Aegis still. And uh, they're just going to do the same thing mid before Aegis runs out, or bottom. He's going to hit a really sick timing, too, where even if this ends, he's going to get AC now. Yeah, they have Solar Crest on Bristle, too. This life is going to be an absolute boss. Well, fair. Actually, setting up a nice bit of play here to, yeah. to allow Kunkha's them to get not here. Kunkha's not here. Double open. Whoa! Targets in onto them. Oh! oh! The five man Will O Wisp this catching them sick. all. They will be able to get out of it, but Moot, he'll be run down here. PYW stacking up the goo upon him as Moot gets stickier and stickier and finally falls <laughs> overwhelmed with pleasure. As Moo will die, nine. Sort of like, hang on, what am I doing up here? As he'll get dragged back in. Will yules himself up, but he's surrounded. And he's cleaned up as well. Another three kills for Serenity. And as you say, still without time, and they could just move it over mid and start pushing down and threatening a second set of racks. They're 15k ahead now. That was such a sick will of wisp And I think that is uh, that is a BKB for PA, but they're going to hit all their other timings too. Yeah, I think this is all a bit too late. She's like, not going to deal enough damage, right, in the fight? She's not. 
they have BKBs, they have Halberd, oh, they're the about plan. to get another one. Yeah, I, Rapier is definitely the right call. That's the plan. Without a doubt. There if they get no it, way. it's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. He's got to get. But if, yeah. he, if he gets it, maybe. But the, the, the way Serenity's playing, they're looking to shut this game down nice and soon. This is the thing about PA2. They've uh, they've tri the PA. They gave this PA the best start that she could in the world. She still lost her lane, honestly, even with the tri -lane. And then she can't contribute. This is the weakness of the hero. Bad laning stage. Oh, number tower take it's like it. like the life sealer just gets his own individual free game. Yeah. You don't need to commit so hard for him. Mm -hmm. That's why heroes like spending stuff for good. Either they are strong in lane or they have really good comeback potential. And Rezo's trying to sort of get in towards the back lines. He's going for the long wraparound. RJ able to block off the roll attempt from Fear as Fear will fall. Rezo does manage to, to crit down XCJ as he jumps in. ZYD now looking to try and turn and control him. Rezo turns towards, but ZYD pops the BKB. Boat's coming down towards now. Oh, Rezo has oh, no, the AC. The AC's is, gone. That is indeed no AC for three minutes. Oh, but he is just tickles. And with the Crimson buff. Up, it's, it's very hard for Reza to do the damage, but J-Storm getting a, a few positive plays here. They are seeing if they can catch anyone else. Lead forward from Fear will be able to get the kickback on the bristle. They'll jump in, but there's a surprise. Arjit's inside. Raw comes out, locks down Arjit for now. The ball of light onto the three, but Reza's still got the BKB, will pop it. He's trying to hit them, but oh, the even with this always... Deso, he's not doing much damage at all. He's got to look for the squishies, look for the back lines. We'll find XCJ's Grimstroke. Can he go for more though? The BKB wears out. The first Halberd comes down. He's been disarmed. He's trying to jump in the second disarm. Oh, the Halberd's causing massive issues for Rezo as they'll push him back, Serenity. He jumps to the side, grabbed back by the X mark. Rezo is dead. Nine is chased down. J Storm, they've got to somehow get out of here as they've only managed to kill off the Grim Stroke. They're losing hero after hero. Rezo down. Nine as well. Moo will be able to TP back to base, but it's two cores out of the game. They do have buyback, but the lead for Serenity continues to grow. And they can, can just get back on track. We're pushing down mid. The buybacks are going to have to come out if Jason want to hold on to this mid lane. But BKB will still be on cooldown for Rezo. And we saw even when it's up, he can pretty much only kill the Grimstroke at the moment. There's so much control from Serenity, the two hybrids. Nine. Trying to get them off the racks. There's the second buyback. Ah, oh, holding on to the Morezzo. Looks to jump in. First Halberd. Oh, Again, so second tanky. Halberd comes in. Constantly disarmed on the PA. He's trying to find a target. The Crimson Guard is popped. Now the BKB back online. Rezo. Look at the ZYD. The Roar's out as well. But with that run buff, ZYD is so tanky on the Kunkka. He could just walk away. Another dagger's out, but ZYD's fine. Or is he? He's not. They got him. They killed the cook. Can they get anything more, J Storm? They, they've got to find something big here. They've committed both of the core buybacks. PYW is ticking down low. Rezo's in. They get PYW as well. Two cores taken out. They uh, looking for more? Roggi. Roggi, the Glimmer K pens. Rezo's in with the dagger. Silence of Fear in with the stun. They've locked down another. Rezo will get the kill. J Storm, they're holding in. And the bounty runes, sir. We've seen them look towards the pit. We are going to find out very shortly how long the Roshan respawn will be. See if it's going to be short, uh, the short side of things and, and favor that. And it is it's going to be short, but not, not before they're, they're fully back up on Serenity. But showing us the game may not be over quite yet. All right. 600 gold into that rapier. You know, if we get it's 25 in rapier, you know, there's a, there's a shot here. Uh... It's still looking pretty hard. The next Roshan is very important. Uh, they have a bottle DD. It's respawns, what, two minutes or something? How do you check again, guys? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, you're right. Yep. Okay, two minutes. Yeah, yeah. So this DD will be up, and uh, you should try to play around Rosh. Rosh is one. One minute. That's what that take me. Yes. Okay. okay, cool. You learned. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. But, I mean, for J-Storm to be able to get in the Rosh and take it with the DD, I mean, it's, I that's never going to happen. It's, like, uh, it's so it's hard. It's so, like... Uh, smoking to yeah. Roche with vision and like popping DD and like one shotting the support or something and making yeah. 45. You okay. have to beat the Roche into making a bad chaotic. fight. Yeah, yeah. Like straight up Roching is near impossible unless uh, Maneski or not Maneski is he Ajit. Serenity just like sleeping at the wheel. There we go, Roche. There's an AC now, by the way, on mm -hmm. Life Stealer. Yeah. Yep. Finally got it. That was pretty big in the fight when he lost it. Yeah, it was huge. 
probably game changing. Maybe the game would have ended. I think yeah, I yeah. think it absolutely would have. Yeah, the but Reza wouldn't have got those sort of kills. And how did it die? Did you guys see? Uh, Reza just killed it. Like it was coming in from the from that area where yeah. they're at right now, and Reza just saw and killed it. I see. He's trying to game save, man. And they've got that. They've got that radiance done now. Nine. That sort of period where he's had that, you know, empty 4k, 5k gold is just now. It's now passed, and he actually has an item to they show for so it. many fights because of that. <laughs> You're just missing like a huge chunk of yeah, all that dead money. gold. Yeah. But now it's invested. Is it a game-winning item? Radiance? Yeah. No. This this rapier is going to be the game-winning item. So really, it's tank. The heroes are too tanky for radiance. In my yeah. Opinion. It kind of just tickles. They also have a pipe, so. I mean, Re Rezo's he's just... farming up the gold pretty quick. Yeah, he is. He's he's got three k gold into that rapier. Oh, double, double, smoke. double you hate smoke. to see that. You hate, you hate to, see, to see, see that. That's that's what you do on the haters. Drop the double smoke. It's all right. This Cardinal's gonna get another five man oh, will away. So, uh, DD, DD has has indeed had that's to be two popped. smokes wasted. Mm -hmm. Not just one. Yeah. They have Chen. I feel like they can abuse a little bit more. I guess they're scared of smokes and stuff. But like Rezo could be farming right now, and they could uh, just recall him casually. He's, he's, he is close. He's actually, well, 3k. He's not that close. But 3k gold. 3k gold he needs. So are they really going to try to alpha this? I oh, mean, I don't know. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, work. no. He they got a DD. Yeah. I think he was really desperate to use that it's, DD. I mean, yeah. even then, you know, Roche is so tanky nowadays. It's not going to happen. I'd really like to see Rezo try and farm and get that rapier. Like, yeah. honestly, Just even, get him out of even sacking Roche for it isn't the worst thing. Like, who's pinging mm -hmm. bottom lane? He's going bottom. He heard you. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's not the uh, that's not the PA guys, but, you know, I'm going to try. And get it next time. No, but this this rape here in 25 could really change the game. Yeah. Like, uh, I feel like they so should So you just ignore Roche. Let yeah. Serenity take it. Don't fight around here. I think you have to fight it. Mm, I mean... Uh, you, you feel you're, just, you're not going to win a fight, so why try? Uh, PA is trying to... It's very hard. PA is... Oh, PA is caught. Oh. He's going oh. in. Nice, nice. The Ghost yeah, Scepter. Oh, the two Ghost Scepters. scepters. Silas is out. Aegis is going to be picked up by Arjit Rezo. He's looking to now commit. We'll get XCJ. Can he get anything more? He's trying to find Roger, but Roger with the Glimmer oh, Cape will be able to kite him. Rezo will turn. The boat's coming down. The combo's there. On to nine. Nine's out of the game. I mean, Rezo's trying right now, but BKB's gone. He's got to run. He's got to hey, keep he's, himself away. He's killed away. the people he can kill. Yeah, the two supports are down, but the rest of them are too tanky. Rezo yeah. in a world of oh, hurt. They've surrounded him. Fear will <laughs> try and oh. kick him, but Rezo's dead. Fear attempting to roll away. ZYD is falling slowly but surely here. Wants to get to the shrine. Ever focus down. The damage fear. Kick him away from the shrine. ZYD Kick still survives down. though. Triple kill for POW. The cheese is added cheese. over to him. He's back up to full. Everyone's dead on J-Storm as Serenity get the team wipe. And there is no buyback available for three of them. Only that for Moo and 1437. So this is the window of opportunity for Serenity to close this game up and, and take the game three, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And now also, uh, Bristol has like one of the most cancerous items in the game now, Ags. Really fun oh, to play Oh yeah, the Aghanims. Yeah, super fun. He's like 800 damage boost. And yeah, it's also just super annoying. Like supports will never buy PKBs and stuff like that. And it hits all the Chen creeps. If they can do one last help. They have got relatively short respawns. You know, 20 seconds, nine's back in. Almost certainly gonna be at least mega before they're back in the game and still a fair bit of time before Rezo will show his face. As Re what was that? Was Rezo actually... What did Rezo have queued up on the PA? Is, is he, yeah, he's just MKB. trying to get some sort of damage out in front of the base yeah. before he's out once more. Nullify is done on Arjit. There's the, the final set of racks clean up. Mega creeps are out. 30 seconds until J-Storm's got a five-man to try and defend with. But Arjit with the nullifier out, still has the Aegis, of course. Your Scepter will be used to dodge the initial setback. The Ball of Light's down, dragging him in fear onto the back lines, trying to draw their attention away from Nine, so Nine can survive. The Roar's out, the Ball of Light still persisting here, dragging them in there, trying to turn and kill it. And we'll be able to get rid of it, and they do keep everybody alive here, Jace Dawn. Finally, fear will fall, but the cores are alive. Rezo's back in the game. The Tier 4s are falling, though, as they look towards the Ancient. They'll back off. For now, Arjit poking back in at night. X Mark combo will be there. Rezo, he's looking for the squish. He's looking for XCJ. I'll get it. Two hits. XCJ's down. Now can he get more? Disarm comes out. Five out from XCJ. Rezo getting heavily bursted. Nullify will stop any opportunity for the BKB for now. Jumps over towards the creeps. He's trying to get away, but he cannot. Rezo is dead. They'll roll forward towards nine. GG well played is called. It's the end of the road here for J Storm at the summit 10 and Serenity.
with this game three victory will move on in the lower bracket two to one knocking j storm out man they rolled them mm -hmm. that was a that was a pretty convincing win that like no point was j storm really in that game i felt like after 10 minutes or so and you said you wanted to see them make more aggressive mid-game moves? Like, like you, you didn't like that static timing where they just farmed everybody? If you're going to pick Chen, Beastmaster, Earth Spirit, like, you got to get the ball going. you got to do something. Like, they just kind of just didn't, they never ganked mid, too. I feel like they could have collapsed mid with Chen, uh, Earth Spirit, and, like, Necro Scythe. They never did it. Yeah. It was actually the Necro that rotated. Yeah, the Necro kept leaving. But I feel like if you have Chen, Earth Spirit, you can easily come to his lane and, like, pressure his Scythe and all this stuff. Yeah. But The weird part is that j -Storm seemed okay with that rhythm, too. Yeah, uh, it's n not the draft for that, without a doubt. You don't play this kind of draft and play this way. Okay. I mean, but th would you say an element, though, that, that was quite nice, sort of as Jimmy said, is that fifth pick lifestealer w it was pretty sweet, though, right? Oh, yeah, it was. Taking that away from. That was insane out yeah. draft. Like, uh, insane. Like, it's so funny because uh, <laughs> in the first series, they first game, they, like, shot themselves in the foot. Like, they let them have Sven. They picked Storm into Silencer. They did so many things that were just kind of wrong. And then this, like, they do all the perfect bans. First phase ban Sven. Uh, counter pick, like, you block the, you do a block pick with life seal. You also ban, like, the only other carry left that they may pick, which is Slark. Like, they had no options left. And they're like, uh, PA, I guess? But PA has so many inherent problems. Like, it's so hard to find a good PA game. As uh, evidence, like, they try yeah. land and... Yeah, he had, the, he, he had the lane, he had the setup, he had the start, but... Things didn't work out. I mean, Febby, of course, for Jason, this is it's got to be disappointing coming into this event, going out at the bottom. They yeah. they probably didn't expect this at all. The, the, this sort of lineup of of, uh, of players, they they should be doing better things, right? Yeah. Before I came to this tournament, I thought they were gonna do really well, top three. But uh, I didn't factor in the this thing where these teams probably didn't practice for this event. Sure. Because like after the TI qualifiers, they probably went home, like kind of chilled. Yeah, so. I mean, do you, that was do you think that was sort of evident here? Well, maybe a bit of lack of preparation from J Storm. Like, does the would you say this squad of five players definitely has more potential than what what we saw at this level? Oh, for sure. I think they're underperforming like crazy. Mm -hmm. Like in the quals too. I think forward was better than them. I agree with you there, but I don't think it should have been like the last three games. The total score was 116 to 12. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> no. Wait, was it, it Ash? Is that it what was happened? The last Funny. three games. Mm -hmm. Well, we added. Uh, we actually yeah. stopped the yeah. cast to, to add it to up the maps. because it was getting like so one-sided. It was 116 and 12. Like, there's skill difference, and then there's like whatever the hell that was. Yeah. And I feel like there's a there's losing, and then there's doing nothing while losing, and that feels like even worse. Yeah, yeah. you just give up. It, like, you just accepted like, the loss. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. that's weird. Like, I, I think that they're a much better team than than that, and uh, I'm not sure. It's disappointing seeing them lose in that way. Like you, you know, the score's two to four. BSJ said in the TI Quest, he's like, one team's always okay with the pace of the game as it is. He's like, one team will always be all right with nothing happening. That game, the weird part is that both teams thought that that was the case. But, of course, uh, J-Storm needed to make something happen with their lineup, and mm -hmm. they just didn't. Yeah, I mean, would you, would you agree, Fabi? Like, look, that lineup that J-Storm had... Like it could have been played differently. There, there were timings that they missed, plays that oh, they they messed wise? up. Or do you think this was always going to be a hard game for them? Looking at the, I think their the way lane they setup and their luck was yeah. really wrong. So like PA, he needs a good start, so they try lane. But I don't think that was the way to go because it's against the burster back. You don't want to try lane the burster back because he's always gonna see if even if you kill the burster back, he's gonna take so much of your resources. He's gonna like keep crescent curse spirit. You're gonna lose a lot of regen. He's gonna just come back. Mana, so it's not worth it to try lane the Bristol back. And Chen had very Chen's luck was very bad on the camps. I felt every time I looked at bottom lane, he was with the baby centaur, it wasn't with the like lightning creep. He got it like at four or five minutes in, and I think that was bad. The Beastmaster, too, Beastmaster yep. always needs a really good start, I think, uh, on levers and the items. But he was sacked, so that looked pretty bad, too. I mean, Mason Serenity, exciting team to watch, right? We've learned stuff today from RJ. And we're we're, we're going to learn more later today. They will be playing, of course, in the third series. So we'll, we'll, we'll see them later against, of course, the winner of the next series, Beast, uh, Beast Coast versus Complexity. And, of course, as you can see on your screens, just a little bit of a reminder, we have some beautiful, fresh designs for you available at bts.gg slash merch. So if you want to go and be the coolest of the cool, head over there, grab yourself a T-shirt or a hoodie, and you can look fantastic as well. But, yeah, Mason, it's it's been a... 
it's been an educational experience. We've we've learned a lot this morning. Yeah, it's been uh you know, going into the series I was like, you know, this is pretty hype, this is okay, you know, elimination, everything, but then these guys, Midas Windrunner, Ags Morphling, when I thought it was the worst Ags game ever, like Well I mean, will you be going away and dabbling that with that yourself? Or? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like I will definitely if I see a winner, yeah. that looks like a fun build. Like permanent winner it was pretty much permanent. I yeah. like looked at it again. You can like, die, dude. Yeah, like it's insane. Uh, that was definitely cool. Yeah. yeah. And uh, also, you know what's cooler than that? The BTS merch that was on screen. Like, I yeah, actually was. wore the hoodie, and uh, the what girls, girls just flocked towards me. Like, I couldn't, like, hey, bro, uh, get off. And, yeah, it was insane. Like I became so cool. Would you like to step up to the mic, have a few no, words? I want to see how to Aww, kill this feels bad. Yeah? Mm. How to kill the Bristleback. Mm. How did you kill the Bristleback? I don't how know. To do kill more the damage, eggs. I think. He didn't like mm. your... He said you should have gone Deso. Straight up. Straight up? Yeah. Before a Battle Fury? Yeah, I never go Battle Fury on PA. I Probably always go Deso. Probably, it's the faster timing. Yeah. Just fight with the team. Yeah. You guys have, like, uh, Bristleback. Uh, you guys have, like, Chen, Earth Spirit, Necro. It's like, I thought you guys were going like, to try to push, like, end the game or play really fast. But then the Necro kept going bottom. And Anyways, you know, tough loss out there. Bristleback, okay. definitely an annoying Everybody hero. Everybody makes mistakes. That's how we say in the team. Right? Yep. Yeah. For sure, man. Jimmy, you made the mistake of picking that draft. You know, <laughs> just blame Jimmy. Yeah, don't we'll blame Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy, man, you could have done better for Duck your players. Up, dude. There we go. <laughs> oh, well, there we have it. Feels bad for those boys, but feels good for Jay. For, for, I was going to say Jay Serenity. Though. <laughs> Jay, Ser Jay Serenity. <laughs> Serenity. <laughs> Serenity. So, so Team Serenity, who will be moving on. And uh, they'll be playing the winner of our next series, which will be quite a juicy one. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The next series on your screen will be Beast Coast versus Complexity, the NA Showdown. We'll see you soon.